Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. My name is Renzo. I'm gonna paint this commission. Okay, the colors I'm going to use are titanium white, yellow ochre, camion red, alizarin crimson, cobalt blue, low if. Okay. I'm gonna mix an orange first. Mixing yellow ochre with camion red and a touch of white. A little bit of cobalt blue. Okay, let's place the position of the forehead. It's gonna be around here. Okay, I have this space to mix my paints. The head is going to be around here. The hair. The center line is going to be around here. The line from the eyes. Okay. Now use a little bit of linseed oil. I have this image here, I have another image here, I have this dark image, and I have another one here, a big one, okay? Okay, now let's mix blue and alizarin crimson, a little bit of white. I'm just thinking, I'm trying to establish some color I think I'm gonna add some warm colors to the light and some cool colors to the shadow. Because, I mean, these images, these old images, really are difficult to paint. They usually don't have too much contrast. And I think the only contrast I can add, it could be maybe just doing this, exaggerating a little bit the colors, just a little bit, okay? And let's ask Norma, maybe, maybe Norma is gonna be in the live stream. I don't know. Okay. The neck around here, the shoulders, and I have enough space for her blows, blues, blows, blues. Okay. I'm checking out all the measurements of the face, proportions. I mean, the distance, you see the, the distance from the nose to the mouth is really short. And she has more space here. Okay, her eyes uh, are small. That means that she has more space both both sides of the face. Okay, that leaves me the, the eyes, nose, and mouth. This small space here, more space around the face. Mixing a layer value. Okay. I need another brush to paint the hair. I'm doing this and uh, I'm squinting my eyes right now. I'm doing this and I keep my eyes squinted while I'm doing this because 
for me, it's that's just like going even here, even the 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 the, 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 the hair. I'm gonna have this. Get too much forehead. It'll be okay now. Of course, I'm not gonna keep this bright violet to the end. At the end, you know that I'm gonna see just some subtleties there. I just prefer to establish this to kind of know what what the colors are going to be on top of this. And start trying to keep the difference between warm and cool colors, okay? Just a little bit, not that much. This is too much right now. Mm. Okay. I mean, to do this, I'm just checking this image. You see, this image is easier to see. Even if you want to draw while you paint, you can follow this, this, this point. That helps a lot with the drawing. Okay. This is just going to be for when I, at the next stage of the painting, when I get more details. But for the beginning is this one. Okay. okay, I have the color of her blues. Okay, this kind of, was kind of a uh, pinky color. Feature of the face. Okay, so squinting down my eyes. Mm. I gotta think. I gotta, I gotta see the center line of the face. You can see it's tilted a little bit. If this line is like this, this line is gonna follow that. Okay. Okay, if I do this, I'm gonna do the same here. Let me squint in my eyes, and the first thing I think I'm gonna do is the eyebrows. I follow the eyebrows. Then the eyes. Put in my eyes. Now from here, I'm following this shadow you can see here. Okay, to the nose. And the same here. To have the shape of the nose. Another mouth. Okay, okay. Squinting my eyes. I'm squinting my eyes watching this image. Okay, now I squint my eyes my eyes watching this image. Okay. Mm. 
and just grinding down this color. To note, uh, we, we gotta keep in mind that there's a difference between this color here and this color here, okay? This should be a little bit grayer, a little bit darker. You see here how it changed from here to here? And this image is, okay, difficult to see, yes. But now you can see clearly how the light here, the light here. And the shadow, the cast shadow of the nose is kind of telling me that maybe this image was take, was took in a, with a light for obviously from the right side. But this cast shadow just tells me that maybe it's a strong light. Maybe it could be sunlight. Maybe sunlight. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to guess. I'm gonna draw this cast shadow. We always need this, okay? We need to have a lot of images with one one image is not enough. I mean that if you just use the, the, the image that uh, that you get you the first image somebody gave you and you see the image in your cell phone you're not gonna be able to see these details here or these details about the, the shadow the cast shadow on the nose. Yes. Okay thinking right now, I'm thinking I'm going to place this here. Let's move it around here. Okay. Yes, around here. Wrap it up. That means the head finish here, the hair finish here. This is my background. This art, oh, I forget to add green to my palette. I was thinking about this green. I just forget to add it okay, here. I started to use this green, um, I think a couple of weeks ago. I and I'm just using it more and more. I mean, in, in the face, there is always green. Okay, you gotta just look for. Uh, in this case, this green is perfect. You see how easily I mix this green with this orangey color, and I apply it to the face. We need some orange, a little bit of orange. Green, sorry, orange, green. Okay. Now let's change to these smaller liner brushes that I usually use. Let's draw some details on the face. Hello, Joyce. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, Arwa. Hello, Crisalida. Hello, Maria. Gracia. Hello, Marisol. David. Uh, what green? Hello, Sunshine. This, this green is chrome green hue. Now this work a little bit. Now I 
I have kind of the width and the height of the face, but it's not the same. You see, it's a little bit exaggerated right now. It's like a caricature. It's, I mean, I gotta just short this and maybe this. But that's okay. That it is, uh, right now, that this works for me because I can compare and I see what I need to fix. Okay, let's draw a little bit of the eyes. This is a little bit darker, it's no, it's no black black. It's just like a, a, a burnt amber. Burnt amber with a little bit of red. Okay, squinting my eyes. need to get rid of this shadow here for a little bit because I'm using the eyebrows like um, how do you say an anchor anchor just to from, from the eyebrows draw the eyes and the rest of the face I need to erase this a little bit Now I can compare. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm just gonna soft this a little bit. Okay, and now I'm using this image, okay? That's why, I mean, this shadow is so clear, you see here in this image. But right now I'm trying to copy it like this. I'm just gonna follow this one. This is a commission for, I don't remember her, her name, Norma. Yes, I'm waiting for Norma. Norma Ortiz. Squinting my eyes again and stepping back. Okay, I do this and I check immediately this, okay? Check if the distance is okay. a lot. 
blood. I'm squinting and moving my eyes to the left, to the right. Okay, to the left, to the right. Trying to see, I mean, the width of the face, not okay. I know that. Mm. That's better. I think that's better. Hello, Marvat. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Roseanne. Hello, Carlton. Okay. I'm keeping more color in the center of the face. Okay. And more color in the nose. But you know that this is a kind of a sphere and it goes like this. Yes. And the color here, this portion, is different than the colors here and here and here. It's like a, it would be greater, more saturated and more saturated here. That's why I keep uh, this is a little, has more color here and the nose even more color, okay? But you're gonna control that, okay? Uh, and that change if the light conditions change. If we have a really strong light here from here, that's gonna change all this side of the face, okay? And one thing that kind of uh, confuses us, confuse us about this is the reddish part of here of the face because we are red and we think that the red goes like this to the just to the contour of the face. We are creating the illusion that this this is turning. Okay. How do you do that? I don't know. Go to my Patreon account to know how to do it. <laughs> I think that this is a no, this is not nice to promote promote my my Patreon account in this way. Well, who cares? <laughs> Okay. The nose, always a little bit reddish. It could be orangey, pinky, you choose, depending on the skin color, and of course, on the light conditions. Okay. 
blend a little bit. Here I go, I'm going to waste my brush. Oh, give me a minute, I forgot to clean out the brush. I just want to use this brush. Oh, I have another one here. I have this one, you see? It looks exactly for to uh, the makeup. Yeah? Perfect for blending. Okay, I squint in my eyes. I see, I see some mistakes. Mm, it's okay. Let's continue. Okay, I better go a little, a little bit faster. I'm gonna clean down the brush. Okay, David, night 30 in England. Okay, already had a few beers. Oh, that sounds really good. <laughs> Matter of fact, right, so you are a generous and wonderful teacher. I wish all have this bright soul. Don't change, please. I want to change. I want to be greedy. I want to have a lot of money. I, wanna, I want to ignore everybody. <laughs> okay. I want, well, I want, uh, okay, let's continue. I mean, I, I need to finish this. Okay. I have some hairs here that I'm not gonna be able to fix. I have a, this I'm gonna just cut the hair. Okay. Taking care of my brush. You see, you gotta take care of your brushes. Nice and clean. I'm gonna paint the white of the eyes. I don't wanna use too much paint. I want this color in the brush just to get mixed with this color and get like a mid tone here. Mm. And add some highlight to check out 
estás ok. No ok, no ok. Ok, here I go again. Highlights. Ok, I don't, I'm gonna leave the highlights a little bit later. Not so sure yet. Crisalida, <laughs> don't drink until you finish the painting. Yeah. Yes, of course. Oh, no, no, I, I wasn't saying that. I mean, I was reading. I was reading if, I think it was if. I was reading that uh, if had some beers or, I don't know. Oh, David, David Brandley. He says, already had a few beers. <laughs> I was reading. Uh, you told that I... I I had some some beers. No, no, no. <laughs> this is like driving. I cannot drink and drive. I cannot drink and paint. And when I drink a couple of beers, I just I start to speak a lot. Oh my God, that's what I need, I think. That's what I need for my, for my YouTube channel. But the problem that would be, uh, maybe I will start speaking Spanish. <laughs> A bigger, a bigger brush. I have a fry here. Okay. I'm trying to see volume a little bit here in the middle, like creating this light that is kind of uh, starting to start here, the middle of the face and spreading just like this, you see? Okay. Just little by little. Sometimes when we start to lighting up the color we change the skin color i don't want that that's why that's why i'm going just little by little lighting up this little by little Stepping back. Mm. Mm. Okay. More light. I'm copying this image. Okay. You see the shape of the light here. See that shape here? Okay, and it goes here, here, and here. Okay. 
Okay. Now let's blend. Squinting my eyes and try to see just here. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now. I think this eye should be a little bit to the left. Okay, let me put the highlight to see. Now I go again with one highlight here and one highlight here. Okay. Mm. I'm going to change this. Okay, okay, okay. Mm I'm making this line because I'm just trying to, I mean, there's a plane of the face here where it changed, okay? And I don't know if you can see this shadow. This shadow is just an indication that this is turning like this, okay? Let me see, I need to see this. Okay, mm. okay, the width of the face is something that is gonna be about values or is gonna be about just to measure the face. I mean, right now I can feel that <laughs> she's, the width of the face, you, you can see it's like, a, it's different, yes, you know it's different, I know that's different. I feel like I have to just cut here. But let me see. I mean, sometimes, I mean, right now I have the same value here. And maybe it's not about cut, it's about just changing the value here. A uh, scene draw following just the shape of the lights and the shadows. I gotta follow the same here. I mean, if I see a mistake, the first. Uh, attempt to, to fix it that would be just fixing values okay and then I will just cut here and there or I will go with a more lin linear approach okay I'm gonna make this darker
Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. When I read the comments, you're with. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, today was a Russian invasion to your latest stream. Do you speak Russian, Renzo? No, no, no at all. <laughs> oh, Monique, are you saying that the face appears a bit too white? Yeah, 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 I was speaking about just that. <laughs> she said, don't tell it, Renzo. Okay. Uh, she said that the picture at the top looks like the face is a bit larger, very kindly. And the bottom picture. It is only me who sees who sees this. Maybe that's the angle. Oh no. Maybe it was a mistake printing the image. Who knows? Continue working. I'm just pressing this because I feel like it's the image. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember sometimes uh, I had painted just in layers, and the first layer is something like like this. It, it doesn't look like uh, okay. Sometimes just the client wants to see the painting. I want to see the painting. I want to see. I want to see. And I say no, no. I always say no yeah, because that happened to me like twice. But, I mean. It was okay at the end, but I remember once uh, somebody uh, asked me, "Yes, I want to see how it go, how it go." I mean, uh, that's not okay now. If you see the painting now, I mean, you're gonna feel that it's not okay. No, no, I know about painting. Uh, let me see the painting, please. And I showed the painting to to him, and he was like, he saw the painting, and he was kind of excited to see the painting. And then, as, as soon as I, he saw the painting, he just uh, uh, freezed. <laughs> he didn't say anything, and he was okay, 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 okay. It was like I, for me, it was like well, okay. What happened? Oh, okay, who cares? I mean, I'm gonna send you an advance in a 
couple of days, three days. Okay, okay, okay. And just, okay, bye, bye. And then he sent me a message and he was like, oh, okay, so sorry about that. I mean, uh, something is wrong with the painting. I thought the painting was going to be like, like, the, like you're doing your videos. And because it was a, like a couple of years ago, uh, the painting that I have seen your website and the painting is not okay right now. <laughs> and I said, okay, you told me that you know about painting. Yeah? If you know about painting, I mean, what do you say in that? If you know about painting, you know the, uh, that the process is, is just like that. It's ugly at the beginning, and it's start just to, you know, to get better little by little. And after that, I don't show me. So many people say, show me the painting, show me. No, please show me the painting. I know, but I just want to see. No. No, no, show me, please. No, 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 I don't want to. How do, you, how do I know that you, you're doing the painting? I don't know. Live with the doubt. <laughs> and I remember once uh, I painted a uh, One minute, just a minute. I have a, a fly here, just flying around my my ear. I don't know if you can hear this little fly. I'm just gonna kill it. Just give me one minute, okay? I couldn't kill it, but um, I, I think I scared, <laughs> I scared it. I scared the, the how do you say, I scared the, the I scared the, the shit out, out of this, I don't know. I think this eye is kind of, I'm starting to see the likeness on that eye. I mean, a little bit of the likeness, of course. Not enough yet. Okay, I need to step back.
Let's go to the next ear. The next ear, the next eye. <laughs> the next ear. I don't need a beard to to misconfuse the words or misconfuse uh, everything. A little bit here. Okay, I need to work here a little bit. Now let's work on the nose. Okay, let's read the comments. Just for a minute to get distracted a little bit. Okay. Can you tell us a little tell us a little bit a little bit about Peru? What to vis visit? Okay, that's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gotta think. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh, here in Peru, there are so many places to go. One, I mean, the most maybe well known place is uh, Machu Picchu. And then we have these uh, drawings that you can see from, even I think uh, from from the airplane. It's like it's called uh, some. Okay, I don't know how to say it in English. Mm. It's, a, it's a small town close or uh, to the south of Lima. It was a, they think it was a calendar, or really a old calendar. Yeah. 
Okay. What else that you can come here to Peru? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mary, Monique, something you can only see clearly from the sky. Uh, I think so. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, sorry about that. I mean, uh, But I mean, the, the Machu Picchu is the maybe the beautiful thing that we have here, the most beautiful place that we have here. Yeah. Oh my god, the fly is back. Sorry that I just so focused on the face, trying to see. I mean, I see some things about her that, for example, this eye is a little bigger than this one. And when that when something like that, we, we see something like that, we just to, we tend to exaggerate that. And that's exactly what happened to me, okay? I don't know if you can notice this eye is a little bigger, open a little bit more than this one. I'm just trying to control that uh, and reducing this and making the other one a little bigger, just little by little. Okay, I'm stepping back and I check about that all the time. And right now I'm painting the nose and the mouth and coming back to the eyes because that's something that is, I know I have to deal with that to find a balance between that. It does kind of difficult always. And we, I mean, we have to face the same always. Faces are not symmetrical. We usually, we have that one eye is a little bigger than the other eye. You, I don't know if you can see that here in the image. Yes. Okay, this work on the mouth. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna see this and I'm gonna make a line up. Okay. I think that's okay. Okay. A little bit of shadow here. You see here this left side this this shadow here. Okay. Uh, Mary. Oh yes, Nazca line drawings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly what I what I was speaking about. I didn't know how to, how to say them. They they are so large. Yes, yes. I mean that's impossible to see them because you need to be so high. They are just enormous. Thank you, Mary. Need a smaller brush. A really, really tiny brush to blend this, to soften these edges. Okay, let's add a little bit of red to the face here and there, here. And there. I think I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. Just give me a second. This bear.
me see. I'll adjust this image to see the highlight on the nose. Here and here, yeah, you can see. Now I need a small brush just to blend. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there by now. I need to blend more of those highlights. I'm gonna just leave it there for a minute. So now I can use this highlight just as an anchor for the mouth and the eyes just to check the distance. <laughs> okay, I uh, I have some red greenish color. You remember I added this color here. Mixing this one, I added some reddish, a little bit orangey. I have here in the nose, so I know you can see kind of orangey color. I'm just trying to think about that. I mean, I, lo I love the color. I want to add more of that, this color, obviously here, and the lights and the, to create more volume. Just thinking right now, because I gotta go slow, if uh, maybe, light up the whole face. Okay. Uh, because now what I'm thinking is at highlights. Just because it's like a, I need this, a, a lighter value. Okay. Now thinking how light the value is gonna be. It's gonna be yellowish, orangey, reddish. I don't know. Now with this highlight, that's gonna be. I'm gonna be able to see the cast shadow here. This. Okay. Maybe a little bit of red. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit more red. Now we need to do this when, I mean, there's no way that we can get the right color used at the first attempt. You gotta go back to the palette again and again and again. And we need to apply if you want, take your palette knife and take out the paint or you just apply more paint on top of that until you see that it's okay, that the color is okay. Okay, one thing just uh, because uh, uh, the light is coming from the right, so subtle, but you can see that clearly here. That means that this color, it shouldn't be like this one. This one should be brighter, a little bit, even 0.1%, it should be a little brighter, okay?
it should be a difference a difference between this and this even a slight difference yes, another thing that I'm thinking is that uh, it's like uh, she has the same highlights all over the face here 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 this should be a little bit darker i mean i just to think just like um one highlight to be brighter and the others one the other the others just to go like in a value scale and but i mean that that means change what I see here, change that a little bit, a little bit because you can see uh, it's like the same, yes? I mean, just the forehead is just a little brighter. Yeah. Okay, and then maybe I can keep here the, this one, the brighter one, this, this, and obviously this. A little bit here, and then the forehead and the chin are gonna be just a little bit darker. Difficult, I mean, easy to say, difficult to do. I, I just love to think about this sometimes, I'm pretty sure I'm not able to, to get what I want. But anyway, I mean, that's what I think in terms of what I want uh, for the order of the lights on the face and how to establish, let's say, a focal point or some focal points on the face. I'm gonna add a little bit of this color here. I just wanna kill down this. I feel this too bright. Okay, now I'm thinking about the shadow. You know that, okay, I mean, I'm just exaggerating values a little bit because I'm working with this image and this both of them. And the problem is uh, sometimes clients, they don't, know, they don't know about squinting or eyes or watching things just like, or exaggerating, exaggerate contrast, all of, the, all of that. They just want the painting look like the image, the original image, okay, just like that. Let's see, and I, I mean, I need to try to find a balance between those because you know that I'm using most of this image, that's because I wanted to get volume, okay? I wanna get values right, I wanna get volume. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's, let's think. And let's compare the image to the painting, trying to capture the likeness. Because I, I'm feeling that I'm getting close. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it could be a little, the width maybe it's not okay, or obviously it's not gonna be perfect. But I mean, I will try as much as possible to get it right. But when this is a commission, I gotta go back to the painting in a second time, okay? To make corrections.
Okay. Now let's add a little bit of contrast. Uh, I mean the hair. The hair is, the, is what is going to add contrast. Okay. Brush here, black, red, and yellow ochre. Okay, let's see. Dark here, dark here, dark here. Yes, I'm trying to get, I mean, the skin color is just like, like my skin. I'm trying to get that skin color. Mm. Uh, my hand is kind of yellowish. Okay, let's see, maybe. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, now I'm going to pay attention to the width of the face here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I can keep this sharp and soft here. The same here, sharp here, soft here. Or I can soft just all the edges. Okay, first I'm gonna just soft here. I'm gonna leave a little bit sharp here. But I mean, I don't, I don't see that it's gonna, it's gonna be that way to the end. And just wanna see how it looks like this. Okay. Okay. Let's go work on the nose and then the mouth again, because I see the mouth. It doesn't have it. The shape is not okay yet. And as in more right here, I always want the nostrils to be transparent. Yeah. 
if I add like a pure uh, black or a brown, really dark brown. That's not going to be okay. Okay. Okay, I need to soft here a little bit. It's like a, we don't see this shadow here in the image in the photograph. Okay, that's better. Okay, now let's work on the mouth. Let's correct the shape of the mouth. I'm gonna use this greenish color. The mouth is too dark, I think. I'm gonna light up the upper, I mean the upper uh, lip. Let's blend that. I'm going to open this eye a little bit, a little bit up, a little bit up, almost nothing. Okay, that's better. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, that's better. No, I'm gonna darken the brow and soft. This is a common mistake. We always leave the brows really dark. We have to soften.
Oh well, with my finger I do. <clears throat> Okay, you see it's kind of reddish this. I'm doing that to keep just transparency here. I don't want to add some. I want the image to look soft, okay? If I go dark, no, I prefer to go reddish. Here, here, here. Keep that softness. Try to keep that softness. Okay, okay, uh, just, I feel like, ah, uh, I gotta fix this. I just stepping back to see the image. Okay, 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 okay. Two. Okay, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna capture my screen and I'm going to reverse the image here. It's like using a mirror, yeah, uh, but I mean, nowadays it's no, no purpose anymore to use a mirror when we have this technology now. Let's give me a second. See what is wrong. I'm gonna take out the color from the image in the painting and see what is wrong. Doing that right now. Mm. Okay, yeah, I got I didn't count that oh, there is a distortion in this image. Take it. Okay, I'm gonna capture again the screen. Okay, that's better. Yes, I need to. Just what I thought. I need to change this a little bit. That's the first thing that I, I have seen. Okay, okay, okay. okay. okay what is, what is? I think here, it's a mistake here, the mouth, the eyes, the nose. 
Too much for hit, maybe. The width of the face is something that I don't know, I'm not so sure. I'll make this line here. And I'm going to reduce here. Okay. <laughs> Putting back the color, taking out the color again. You gotta pay special attention to this type of kind of images because they are difficult. These images that don't have too much volume. <laughs> okay, I see that I need more light here. Okay, I see that I need more light, maybe here. Okay. Let's go back to the painting. Okay. Let's blend this. Let's blend this. Okay, I hope I'm doing okay. I mean, uh, the problem here that I, I got is the width of the face. Okay, that's been so difficult for me to, to see that. I have reduced a little bit when I put this shadow here, and I reduce a little bit here, okay? I think that's okay. Not so sure because, not so sure, I mean, there's no way to, to be sure. Yes, I'm just getting close to this little by little. Okay. And another thing that would be uh, maybe definitely I think I'm going to add some glazes to this painting because I don't want to lose volume here. But if I go and light up the image to get to this image, I'm going to lose volume. And volume is lightness. Okay, and I'm afraid to 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 lose uh, all I have get until now. That really is difficult when you have a painting that you don't have too much information. Information for me is when I see you have a hero school image. That's for me like a, a lot of information. A chiaroscuro image is just, it's just a lot of values. And I love to copy values. And you take values from me, you just leave me with lines. And lines for me, I mean, I, I, I've been drawing with linear drawings all, all my life, but I just have been working just 
following shapes, values like for a long time. And I feel like uh, it will just leave me with lines without the possibility to copy values. I think I could feel a little bit lost, maybe. Let's add some, this is a pink pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, matter of fact, I still seeing the face more elongated in the reference photo. Okay, okay. I will continue checking out on that. Looking great. Thank you, Monique. Handy comes it. She still looks mu much younger in the painting. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. That's that's okay. How much longer do you think you'll work on this, Renzo? I'm just thinking that I was, uh, I mean, maybe three hours. That and uh, an hour. I'm just working an hour and forty minutes by now. I have an hour and twenty minutes yet. Jose, amazing work as usual. Let me suggest you something. I think that her right eye could be more alive. I think it's the cure of the eyebrow. Okay, I wanna check on that. Mervat, right, so is better now. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna let me see something because I've been working on the eyes, I've been working on the curve of the eyes. And the right eye could be more alive. I think it's the curve of the eyebrow. Let me check on that. The curve of the eyebrow, yes. Yeah, the problem is this, the problem is Ah, uh, if you see this image, see clear, see carefully this the image. Okay, look at this eye. Tell me which eye is bigger. This one, yes. This one is a little bit closer. We all have the same. Our eyes are not symmetrical. The problem that you don't discuss that on a photograph. If you see that in a painting, you consider that a mistake. You say, that, oh my God, you painted one eye bigger than the other. And you're not, you're not gonna be just, just explaining or sticking the photo, photo just next to the painting to, oh no, no, the eye is just like that. I just copied the eye just like that. Okay, and now usually when we try to copy that, we tend to exaggerate a little bit. And pretty sure I did that. I mean, that's a common mistake because I'm trying to capture the differences, the difference between one eye to the other. I'm pretty sure I exaggerated and I did this eye bigger and this eye a little bit smaller. I mean, that, that usually happens, okay? Pretty sure that would be my problem. Pretty sure that's my problem right now. And I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> okay, but let's continue, I mean, I gotta just follow values because I don't follow form like, I mean, I'm gonna use a linear here to correct that. No, no, I'm squinting my eyes and just trying to follow shapes. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes, trying to see the eye. I see this image too, and I see the values there. Okay. Mm. I don't know, I don't know, that's the difficult part. Likeness is gonna be always difficult. And there is not a formula to get a likeness. Anyway, glad, really glad that you're here with me. 
because that's the only way to get excited to when you paint a portrait that you see public, that you feel that you can fail. Anyway. <laughs> Like I always say, that's the only uh, adrenaline, that's the correct way to say it, adrenaline that an artist can have. Okay, now one side of the mouth is larger and this is smaller. That's what I see here in the image. Okay, and I see that really subtle, subtle, subtle. Maybe I gotta cut this here. Mm. Okay, not so sure, not so sure about that. Let me put the middle here. In this way, I'm gonna be sure, really sure if one side is larger than the other. No, I think the both are equal, yes? I think that was a mistake. I was watching just this side, a little bigger than this, the left side. And I think that was because I made this a little bit larger. Yeah, I think that's better now. Okay, let's, let's think about her expression. These lines here, does the create the expression? It's just subtle, subtle lines. I don't know if you see that. I mean, here is so difficult to see those lines, but here is kind of easier to see. Now, 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 the problem is always that we tend to exaggerate that. We see a subtle wrinkle, and you make it. We make it more visible. We love that. We love. We love that because we feel that we are making details that we are getting closer to the likeness, and sometimes. It's not like that. Sometimes we should simplify things. Sometimes, I mean, there's not uh, a rule like uh, simplify always work. No, it's not like that. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Hey, I do want to support my channel. I have a Patreon account. Okay, just for four dollars a month. Yes, we can go and have a dinner together. <laughs> we can paint alone together every Saturday for one hour. I mean, I mean, and we, I mean, not just not just me. Since the lessons, I mean, that session is in Zoom. You see me painting and I can see you painting. I mean, that means that we paint for real a lot, uh, together every Saturday, one hour for just $4. And if you want to paint alone with me, like a more uh, private group, and uh, I have the $100 tier, that $100 tier that we paint one portrait every week, every Sunday, for four hours. Yes, just up to 10 people. No more because, I mean, 
we check uh, a critic, each work, uh, I gotta see each work, and you know, the common thing about a live session. Okay, okay. Do you see this here? Huh? You see it? I just gotta, gotta get this really softly. I still see that it looks like. Mm. I'm gonna soften this just little by little. Now that I'm about to work on the neck, I see a problem here. Can you see this? This this looks like a shadow here and light here. I mean, if the light is coming from here, I'm pretty sure there, there is another light coming from here or, or, or up, up here. I don't understand this shadow here. I don't understand that. It shouldn't be a shadow like this. Yes. I don't know if you can follow me, this shadow. Okay, you see that shadow here? Okay. Okay, okay, I mean, that just confused me a little bit. Definitely, that's going to be better just to get rid of the shadow, just to make this all the neck soft. Paint a little bit of the face. Oh, the dress it was like this. I forgot about that. I mean.
since the light is coming from here, I'm just going to keep this side in shadow. In here, in light. Okay. And then I'm going to paint that later. I'm going to paint a little bit of the hair. Hmm. I'm gonna see the. I'm gonna read the comments just for a minute to uh, to clear out my eyes. I don't wanna see the painting for just a couple of minutes. Imagine, uh, imagine saying that it appears to be done in a studio with multi light sources. Yeah, maybe. I think I was thinking that. Yes. Hmm. Well, beautiful likeness. Do you think, Lisa? Okay, thank you. When you finish the portrait, how do you clear the paints from your, the palette? Okay, I'm just going to paint background here. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to take up the color with my palette, my palette knife, and that's it. Okay, now I have to think about the background. I don't know, I feel the, uh, a gray background that would be okay, I think. Not dark, I feel like uh, maybe I should add some dark, but no, I don't know. Not dark. Mm, I'm gonna paint the hair. I'm gonna think about the, the, the background in a minute. What time is it? I have a, a couple of classes today at 8. Okay, I have time. That's okay, that's okay. Let's continue. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this image. This is where you can follow me.
Okay, I think that's okay, a little bit darker. a minute if you want to check out my email because I just sent the message to the person who asked me for the portrait and then I just want to see if she get the message some minutes Okay, let's continue. See this light here? I shouldn't see the light. I mean, there's no reflection there. That means that the value is not okay. Um, maybe I could see a little bit, but not that much. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try to dark this a little bit because this is just make this part flat. You know that around the face, you gotta create the illusion that it's just turning. It's turning because it's something is spherical. Okay. And if you feel, you see, it's kind of a reflection, like I did. You gotta darken that because it's just not just going to flood this area. And right now, it's kind of flat. I don't like it. I mean, definitely uh, a glaze here. Good, uh, I mean, good fix this. I'll try to blend it more. I was planning maybe to leave it just sharp here. I don't think so. To blend even more here. And, clean, and cleaning the brush just with a rag taking out the, the paint from the brush and blending again okay that's better okay
Mm. What is, what is? Squinting my eyes, checking values. You know, you see the image, the image is kind of flat. Uh, an image that has frontal light. Okay. Uh, there's always shadow both sides, a little bit darker the value. Remember, this is kind of, the face is kind of sphere, the head is turning both sides. Okay. Oh, wow, so many people telling me here that it's too late. Please, it's 11 p.m. 1, 16 here in Lebanon. Oh, my God. Marcelo, okay, I don't know. It looks like people, it's okay watching the live stream. Maybe you should look problem with your camera. Okay. Okay, let's continue. many details to, I think, to finish with this painting, especially this painting. I see some shadows that, like here, I shoot this a little bit darker, okay? And that that's so subtle that when that's kind of subtlety is when it's a problem because if we go a little bit dark, we gotta go back again and fix it again and go back and forth. And that takes a lot of time. And when, if I let it dry this, I could go with a glaze, and that's gonna be just 10 minutes. And, and I fix any saddle value like here. Or oh, there's a hair here, I think, I don't know. A little bit darker. Okay, a little bit darker here, here too. Okay, the only thing uh, is I have lost uh, the greens that I had at the beginning. That means for me that I kind of have lost uh, color. If you, if I lost the greens, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to see red contrast between greens and reds. That means everything is red, everything is orangey. It's just like one color from light to, sh to shadow. I don't want that. Uh, but I mean, that happens, yeah. That happens. This is always a little bit greenish. I'm gonna add a little bit of color, a little bit, just a little bit. Greenish, greenish. Okay. More reddish or pinky. Or orangey, whatever you, whatever color you want to add, 
or you should add depending on the skin color. A little bit of reddish pinky here. That was too much. Okay, that's okay. More color to the nose. A little bit more. Mm, okay. Little by little, you see how it start to get in some more color on the nose of the nose? That's okay. I mean, we need color here. But just control, control this. I mean, I don't want an orangey, orangey nose. I just want that, or that nose to have enough color to pop forward. But I don't want an orangey or reddish nose. Okay, the shape of this nostril is not okay. Let's see here. Okay, this nostril, you see how dark it is? I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't want to know that dark. Okay. Now the mouth should be a little bit reddish, just the lower lip. The lower lip, okay. it's a shadow here and here. Okay, now let's see, let's add more color to the face, a little bit of this pinky color, not too much paint, just like I was glazing, I mean this is not glazing of course, but let's think about this like glazing. Try to make it a little bit reddish there. Okay, let's add some red, some green. Just subtle, so subtle. I need this green here in order to see this reddish and this reddish, okay? Because if everything is reddish, I mean, there's no purpose to make everything reddish. Should be some greenish color, grayish, grayish or greenish, or both. Again, this one here. I feel like her mouth is too small. No, that's okay, I think. A little bit of this pink.
Okay, I think I'm uh, getting tired. I'm hungry. Uh, I don't want to speak anymore. <sighs> so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna think. Uh, I'm gonna leave the face just there. I'll be back in a couple of days when it gets get dry to add some glazes to check out some values to see the likeness mm. yes check out as much as possible no no i still feel like i i i, <laughs> I reduce this and i see again this like okay Go. I'm going with a darker color here. Okay, let's red. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put the image just next to the painting this way. Compare. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, see what I see because I mean, see this part, this portion of the face, I ha I reduce just too much. I make it, you see that? This, uh, okay, if I block this side of the image, this, this side of the image, see wow uh, okay okay that's a, a huge mistake here because i was thinking about that side of the face that it was thick it was like the width it was okay i gotta make it like this I've been reducing this little by little, little by little, because I didn't know exactly was good or not, because I feel the width it was not good. Let's see now the half of the face, just the half of the face. Mm -hmm. No, the other half of the face. Okay, here. Should be here. Yeah? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Okay, oh, now I feel like I did. I, I, I make it. I make this grow too much. Oh, yes. There's a problem. We gotta go back and forth, back and forth. I gotta reduce again until I find the right position. You know what? Next time I'm gonna trace the drawing. <laughs> And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to make too many problems. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna reduce again, 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 again. Just a little bit little. So difficult to, to see this. Mm 
Mm. Okay. I see another problem here. But definitely, because it's a commission, I gotta get back to this painting and, and try to get the likeness as much as possible. I'm going, what I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna just take a piece of paper with pencil, I'm gonna measure here and there everything to get the last corrections, okay? Because you know this thing about making a live stream a commission is it's like a game, it's like playing a game, enjoying this time, enjoying the challenge. But at the end, this has to be like really good. I mean, the likeness has to be like really close, yeah. Because at the end, that's what people want, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check out especially here, this side of the face. This side of the face is just getting, making me crazy. Yeah, feel that's better. Maybe I should reduce again a little bit. Just here, almost nothing. Just like one millimeter. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let it dry, of course. And I'm gonna go with some glazes. Sorry that you don't see you you won't you won't see anything of that. If you wanna see it, go to my Patreon account. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I just I mean I'm not gonna record that because <laughs> I should record that. Yeah, and put just for for my patrons just the last stage of a painting. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna record that, I think. How I measure, how I, I do all the, the retouching. I, I mean, I gotta make sure because, I mean, there's no way for me, uh, I, I, I already did, I flip up the image. I put the image upside down in Photoshop. I mean, there's, I cannot do, okay. I mean, I can't make it any, any more. I mean, that's just, I mean, the only, I mean, that would be taking a rest and going back. But I mean, that would be just a waste of time. I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure to get the light, the, the little things that I cannot get by, by watching the, the image. What I'm pretty happy with is the color shadow and I keep kind of a violet shadow. I don't know if you notice. And a little bit of warm light, okay? Uh, I started with some green as soon as I, uh, because I wanted just to, I mean, you know, green is everywhere. And in order, in order for see some reds, we need to add green because it's contrast. I mean, that green on the face is just really subtle. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, and okay. Sorry, sorry, I got distracted because I was stepping back and watching the painting again. No, okay, that's it. On the laser dry. I'm gonna work on the background. 
later. But I'm gonna do this because I don't want this to dry with this. Okay, I gotta fix this. Too. I'm laughing because it may her show her back to white. Her shoulder, sorry, to uh, I mean I, I, I just did being her shoulders. Okay, what what else I need, do I need? What else do I need? I need just uh, okay, the hair, background. Okay, okay. Okay, what else, what else, what else? I think I feel like maybe this background is gonna be better. It kind of looks bluish now, yeah, because of the contrast. Yeah, at the beginning it looks like uh, it's too much orange and pinky here. Mm. Oh no. I don't want the hair to dry just like this. Uh, softening. I'm softening the edges. I will be back. I uh, will be back with the background to add more paint. Yes, right now I just want to soften all the edges here on the hair to work a little bit more on the hair. Okay. Retouches, thinking about now the shoulders, not too light here. I mean, she's kind of tilted, tilted to one side. Yeah, she's tilted to one side. Like this shoulder is lower than this one. I think I'm gonna make both symmetrical. Symmetrical, both shoulders.
going to take out this image. Uh, let's see if we can see the full painting. From that distance, I mean, there is some kind of distortion because of the zoom. One thing I just noticed now is this is here. It's a little bit of shadow. Yes, when I added the reddish color here, I just I think I change a little bit this. I need a shadow here. Yes, 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 yes. Now blend the shadow. Okay, okay, that's it. I was waiting for Norma, Norma Ortiz, I mean, but she didn't came to the live stream. Yes. That's it for today. Thank you so much. I'm gonna read some comments. Uh, okay. Okay, Mervat saying that I should add more colors. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna, this is going to dry maybe in a couple of days. Maybe we are in summer here. Yes, it's just like it's faster now. Uh, but it may to be, to be dry, like for glazes, I'm going to wait for four days, at least four days. Okay, I'm just trying to scroll it up to see if I can find any question. Okay, that's that's it. Thank you guys for being here with me. Okay, see you tomorrow. No, tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah? See you Monday, I think. Okay, maybe we'll paint tomorrow. I don't know. See you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.